and what you really want to be extra careful of is is thinking, well, I'm going to try this as opposed to using something like an antidepressant medication that is clearly demonstrated to help. Okay, so it would, you know, it, it depends. Uh, uh, you wouldn't want to take somebody who is truly depressed and have them delay proper therapy thinking this placenta is going to help them. If, you know, a healthy person with a healthy placenta. Now, there's, there are occasions when we want that placenta taken down to the pathology lab and and examined so we can, if there's a pregnancy complication, right, for certain complications, we want that placenta examined because that may give us an idea of how to head off problems in a future pregnancy. So, but most placentas are basically, you know, medical garbage. That's what I was wondering, if it was medical waste or not. Um, okay, so tell me, really, what does the placenta do when you, when a woman is pregnant and she right. forms this placenta, what, what is it really for? Because, yeah, sorry, what is it for? The placenta serves as the fetus's kidneys, the fetus's respiratory tract, and the fetus's GI tract. So the placenta takes nutrients and oxygen and fluid out of the mother's blood, transports them to the baby, and then removes from the baby's blood waste products, carbon dioxide, and puts those back into the mother's circulation so the mother's body can dispose of them. The placenta later in pregnancy also transports immunoglobins from the mother's circulation into the fetal circulation. So no matter what, I mean, it really is the lifeline between the mom and the baby. Yes, the placenta is really a, a remarkable organ. Uh, it, it, it is this amazingly well-designed organ that replaces multiple other human organs for the period of time the fetus is within the mother. Uh, the, the number of functions it does is really quite remarkable uh, when, you, when you look at that. People come in and say, uh, hey, can you set my placenta aside when I'm giving birth? Our practice hasn't really seen very many people who are requesting to keep their placentas. Okay. What about, do they have questions? Do they ever, does anyone ever ask you about, hey, if I ingest my placenta somehow, is that going to make me better? I mean, do people even ask you about it? No, we, we haven't seen that either. I think that's a trend that, that hasn't quite reached Wilmington yet. But you said that you have heard about it happening around the globe. I mean, this is nothing new for women to maybe ingest their placenta. This is a, 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 maybe a custom or a tradition that's happened hundreds of years. Worldwide, people have consumed placentas for time immemorial. Uh, for, for one purpose or another. Uh, additionally, placentas are sometimes, uh, patients will request sometimes to have their placenta to take home for a, a ceremonial burying. Some, some cultures uh, will take the placenta, bury it, and plant a tree with it. Well, medical care is driven by formal scientific study. Uh, so since there's not a formal scientific study, we can't say whether consuming the placenta is going to be helpful or not. But you could say maybe not, maybe not a good idea to ingest someone else's placenta. At least you could maybe go that far. I would say that a woman consuming her own placenta is not going to hurt herself by doing it. You would not want to consume someone else's placenta because of the risk of bloodborne disease. Well, we've had over the years occasionally a patient request to, to keep their placenta for some uh, customary uh, or ceremonial purpose and, and we're happy to be supportive of that just like we're supportive of, of other customs that people have surrounding childbirth. If a patient is experiencing symptoms of postpartum depression we would recommend that they see a physician and receive treatment that is clearly established to be beneficial. Okay. Um, how many babies do they have a year? Do you know? Is it a lot? Oh in our practice? You know, that's a, that's a great question because the, the, you know, one of the practices in Wilmington closed and we've been trying to establish that. So for several years, this practice delivered, you know, you know for several years before, about 650 babies a year. And uh, I think in the month of July, we delivered over 100. So we're not quite sure what we're on track for. But we, I guess we deliver, you know, Paul would know that. You've talked to Paul, so ask him that. I mean, we're, I don't know, going to deliver a 1,000 babies or something this year. I actually don't deliver babies. I'm the maternal fetal person. Oh, okay. So I do the evaluations for high-risk pregnancies, and the general OBGYNs actually do the deliveries. Oh, um, uh, 
the one of us had to volunteer to talk to you. I'm afraid of a little placenta. <laughs> um, so, but the 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 key thing to understand is that people bring into child into childbirth. Our patients come to us with religious beliefs, ethnic beliefs, customs from all over the world. We see people from all over the place here, and we're happy to be supportive of whatever whatever those customs are, as long as they're not harmful. Um, and and I, I think consuming the placenta would fall into that. But right? not harmful for the own... For you to eat your own placenta, sure. Um, let me ask you one last question. So what is in the placenta? I mean, is it... Because these people are saying that it's full of, like, great hormones. Do you think that... Do, the, can, the, is there any scientific evidence that says that, yes... Because that's why they're saying postpartum is so... Um, frequent because you have this placenta, all of your hormones, all of your nutrients are going to this placenta in this baby, then mm -hmm. you give birth to the baby, your placenta comes out, and now you're out of whack. So that's what, that's what they're arguing. Right. I, th I think that's an interesting theory. Oh, really? I'd love to see it tested. Right. And if it has been tested and I haven't read about it, I'd love to read it. I mean, if, if this person who's dehydrating the placenta has a, a large, well-done scientific study, I'd love to read it. Right. I mean, we read studies all the time on all kinds of stuff. It is a constant process. It's not a, you know, it's not something you just do one time when you're training and then you don't do it anymore. It's a constant, uh, regular process in our work. We're looking at new studies and looking at, at new technologies, new therapies. So if, uh, if there's a study out there that I haven't seen, I'd love to see it. Uh, I can understand how somebody would say, a placenta contains HCG, a placenta contains progesterone, a placenta contains maybe some oxytocin, and maybe these hormones, if you put them back into the woman's system, maybe that might help. I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting theory. It needs to be tested before it's put into practice, just like any other theory. A, a drug company may develop a drug that they say seems to help in, in an animal model or something for any disease. Well, it has to be tested to see if it actually works in a, in a human system before, we're, before the FDA would license it and before it would be prescribed. Is there anything that you want to add or that I'm forgetting? You know, one of, the, one of the things to be aware of is this concept of a tissue containing a hormone, right? And you, you, know, you want that hormone therapeutically. That's a, real, that's a real concept. That's, again, that's not news, right? So prior to the 1990s, prior to our ability to synthetically make the insulin molecule, people's insulin came from beef pancreas and pork pancreas. Right? There is another product called Armor Thyroid, which is harvested from, from animal thyroid glands uh, that is, remains on the market. And you will occasionally see a patient who is taking basically concentrated thyroid gland from, that has been taken from, from animals that were being processed for food. Uh, so it, it's not a, their, their concept is, is not unreasonable in that regard. I think the real question is, do those hormones or that combination of hormones, does it actually work? Uh, that's the real question.